So that's the foreground. Now there's a couple of other things to mention. One is the top left hand corner of, you can see where my green screen was and that's daylight there showing in the top left hand corner. So what we need to do is mask that. So what I've done is I've actually created a mask to rub that out. And it's just drawn around the corner like that and then told to subtract. So basically ignore it. And then there's also one for the right hand side because the green screen didn't go all the way over to the edge of the shot. So that's there also to combat that. So now we have the two masks. We need the background. So if we load the background that we've just made there you go. So because I made the background image bigger than the final frame, or the intended frame, we can I have a certain amount of room for maneuver. I can position it and get the best look. Now the way I'm judging that is roughly the desk is kind of waist height, so it probably would appear in the further back in the plane than the, the foreground actor. So that's kind of there or thereabouts. Okay. So now it's all a case of blending them together with colour. So I have a few things that I throw in that they come with Apple Motion and they are plugins called Equalize, Gamma and Colour Reduce. The first one is Colour Reduce. And basically, you can match colours with other colours. So what I do is I keep the blacks as black, keep the whites as white, but then change the skin tones and any clothing and things like that and obscure, slightly more obscure colours to as uniform a colour as I can possibly pick. So if I just show you, if I change that to a yellow, a dark yellow, tint it as yellow. And then there's also the gamma control, which means that you can bring that in and out and blow the highlights or darken them down. And then there's the equalize, which will bring in the blacks or take out the blacks. And then the same for the whites. You can bring in the whites or take them, or completely kind of squash them. Now what I generally for this look I generally like to have each one of these almost at a very low setting. Okay. So onto the background. And it's pretty much you just have to do the same with the background. So what we do is add the filters. Gamma. Color reduce. And I like to use the, the brightness levels for this or the equalizer again depending. Okay, so if we just turn off the gamma and the color reduced to begin um, the gamma and the equalize to begin with. So here if we match the black and black so they stay the same. White with white. Now the foreground actor is like a dark yellow, so if we try and keep it uniform
it's just a case of trial and error really and just fiddling around with the settings until you're happy with the look of it but you get the idea now the other thing that I like to do or I have done in the film is create an artificial pan so if I just go to here delete those okay now you, what you can do is create the illusion that the background is panning what you do is you send the background one way and the foreground the other so if we start with the actor and if we move him in Apple motion you can set keyframes quite easily for, mo for moving an object so if we start at that point go to the end and move him probably a bit too much there okay if we move it to about there and then for the background do the same but because the the foreground has moved from right to left we need to move the background from left to right so if we start there where it is move to the end Okay, I'll render it out and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, and here's the uh, here's the render. So this is our final shot. Now, with a bit of tweaking and a bit of playing here and there, you can make it look better. But you get the idea. Cheers.